Hi, good morning. We've got part two of the new Cindy Play Range 2022. As you may have already seen the video I did with my granddaughter when we actually got the box and did the opening to see what was actually in there, because I didn't know, because this was a box that was gifted to me from Kid Creations Cindy Play. So I was so excited about it, and so was my granddaughter. As you've probably seen on the video, she looked like she was about to burst, but so proud of how she did it with me. So I'm going to be doing this one now, because I think I missed a few details off, because I had a little bit of a distraction but we're going to be looking at this little girl here with the most amazing color hair I don't know if you want to call it blue turquoise it's any sort of mermaid-esque perhaps and this is party time I keep getting the names the wrong way around this is party time so we're going to look at party time but also there was two other outfits because last time we looked at the owl pajamas this time we're going to look at these two so we've got like a fairy outfit and where is our name uh, i have the wrong glasses on it's weird i need glasses for one distance and then glasses for another distance so we have rainbow star so we're going to be looking at both of those top down they are absolutely gorgeous i know there's a lot of excitement about the dolls coming up because we don't know an exact date yet we know it's going to be in argos i'm not sure whether it's sainsbury's as well this time i know i bought all mine from argos um, but it's work. I think we're going to be looking mid late September, something like that. It's definitely going to be a Christmas item, so I think we need to keep an eye out. But they always do tell you on their site, so if you don't go on their websites or anything like that, I will pop some links below so you can click on them and you'll get updates as they come out. Uh, but I know Argos was a little bit hit and miss last time. It was a little bit strange how Argos decided to put them on. But we got them and that's all that mattered. I do have a full collection of the last one and I'm planning on getting the rest of the collection for these, even though I was gifted these as well. Need a new shelf though. Problem being is Argos have actually run out of the shelves as well. And I want matching shelves. So will they get a shelf before? I do not know. I do hope so. I am considering having a look in Ikea though, see what they've got. So we're going to look at these top down please let me know what you think of them please pop some comments in you may not be one that's sort of fond of the new version you're more of a vintage person i like both the vintage gives my nostalgia because that is my era when i was a little girl but i'm so excited about the new play range and it's so perfect for the new generation as well i know my granddaughter absolutely loves it uh, it's a good job she's got a birthday very close after christmas because she's totting up everything including the house if you've not seen the house it's amazing and my last video I did put some photos on the end so you can have a little look at that I've seen it in the flesh and it is beautiful again don't know a release price or anything like that so I'll help you on that I'm waiting for that information myself um so we're going to get on with this now have a look at these two well three there's three packages isn't there and as I say if you do enjoy what I do please like subscribe and share you know how it goes and I'll see you in a minute top down with these thank you for watching So here we are with our beautiful party time here and also the two outfits that go with it. We're going to open party time first, I think. Um, so let's have a look. My throat is a little bit croquet. Uh, I don't know whether it's hay fever or what, but every now and again my voice decides it's going, probably because I talk too much. But I have my trusty water bottle there, so I might have to have a drink at some point. So let's have a little look here. As you can see, there she is. This is gorgeous hair I was referring to. Obviously, it's reflecting a little little bit at the moment at the bottom three plus as we all know and it is cindy party time play set they're called play sets because of the activity items that are in there because it says it includes cindy crafts and it is by kid creations of course on the back we have all our new young ladies on here so you'll be able to get them soon i know i've done the review on dance star but i'm hoping to get some of the others myself dance star that's not dance star that is toy block toy i get it right way around toy vlogger i always want to say blogger for some reason or vlogger this is a dance star here um so if you do want to see that i have got another video up with that on um, so not a lot of other information gorgeous artwork as always from rachel there absolutely love her work i just love the colors and everything so she has a great part in the actual design of the dolls as well so let's see we should have yes they're like these little plastic not plastic they are plastic they're sticky labels whatever you want to call them just like that they come off nice and easy so you're not damaging your box because if you are going to be using it as a play set you don't want to damage it i don't think there's another one on there so this should then slide off there we go slid off nicely there was another one but it clearly wasn't stuck as much 
much. So as you can see, the front of the box actually looks like a little shop. Um, so you've got a sort of a play looking thing to start with. I even got little plants and things like that. We have a couple more of those little sticky circles. I can't believe how easy they are to get off. I hate it when things are so difficult. But yeah, these are nice and easy. Let's take that one off. Ta -da. And there we go. That ta -da, was a bit pathetic uh, uh, with my voice. So it just then slots open. I always miss the top one. I did that in the last video. There's another one at the top here. But thankfully it says it. Don't take any cardboard off. So open we go. And here we have her. You can see her a little bit better now because the light's not shining as much. Now let's see if she's as easy to get out. Obviously my granddaughter took the last one out and she just popped out. Let's see. Yay, she just pops out. Look at that. Just look at how easy that is. She also has a little bag here, which again pops out. And she has the little book that they all have, which is really, really cute. We do have a little bit of plastic there, but we will get rid of that. But at least there's no tags or anything like that. Hate those tags. We're going to look at the box before we look at her. Now, as I said, it mentions crafts and it says here craft cutouts on the reverse. So we're going to take this one out. Oh, there's lots of craft cutouts. Look at this. There's so much. Should we look at this bit first? As you can see, it is a party one. So it's a birthday one. I mean, look at that. That's really nice if you wanted to take some photos. I will have a go at doing that as well uh, to pop some photos on at the end. But the colours and everything, like I said, the artwork is exquisite. So we're going to put the box to one side and have a look. Now, I mentioned last time that they've actually upgraded the way you can do these cutouts because they are now perforated. There's so much in this one. Look at this. We have party bags. We have bunting we have presents that's a cake top birthday badge what we got over here we've got a little crown party invites aren't they cute but as i said they're perforated now before you had to get a pair of scissors out and if you've got a younger child um you know or even yourself if you're like me you do need to be careful with a pair of scissors i'm a lethal weapon but look these are just you see how it's just perforated. I'm not going to pull them all out now. Again, you still have to be careful because if you're not careful with perforation, if you rush, you're still going to damage the item. But that is way, way easier than it was before. So thank you for altering that one, Kid Creations. I'm never quite sure whether I'm saying Kid Creations or Cindy Play um, because they sort of, it is Kid Creations to do them, but Cindy plays quite often, you'll see for the Instagram and things like that. So these are absolutely wonderful. I don't know my granddaughter's going to go absolutely mad for this because she likes the idea of putting a party on for her dolls and things like that. Now, the other thing, I'm not actually sure whether I mentioned last time. I did mean to mention, <laughs> I had a list of things and I said, I know I missed a few things off, but if you've already got the other dolls, you'll know if you go on their website that you can actually sort of print off all other sort of items for you to use there's backgrounds there's cabinets there's all sorts of things um and it's going to be the same with this range there's going to be all these other downloadables for you to use and from what i've seen they look amazing so i'm quite excited to get on that myself obviously well i'm saying obviously i've not looked on the site myself i'm presuming that they won't be on until the dolls come out but there is still the others from last season's dolls so go and have a look at those it's like backgrounds and it's, it's just it's just great they offer so much for the play side you can print off pictures to color in which my granddaughter loves so there's loads so you definitely need to be looking on their website i'll pop the link for that so you can definitely have a look i keep saying definitely don't i but it is definitely <laughs> but yeah actually that's more than i thought i thought perhaps it would have just been this side i mean cake side so you can actually make a full cake then can't you yep so you've got your cake and those little bits you fold over for it to go around in a circle and then you pop that on the top. That That's really good. I know I'll be making them with a certain someone while we're still in the school holidays. <laughs> um, they're great for photos though, aren't they? Great for sort of if you're wanting to do little dioramas and things like that. So yes, very, very impressed with them. Love them. Absolutely love them. So I'm going to pop them to one side and we're going to go and have a look at our little doll here now she has this little bag it's just a little solid plastic bag but it's in this gorgeous sort of pale turquoise for want of a better word just looking at my desk there is paint on it certain people in my house decide my craft room is great for their crafts occasionally so i do end up with paint 
I am as guilty sometimes. I'm not, they're not the only ones, but I haven't been painting lately, so I know it's not me. I need to find something to really clean this well because I've got bits of glue on it and all sorts. Anyway, we're distracting. Should we have a look at the book first? Like with the other books, we have party time on the front because it's hers. A little bit about her. Now, my granddaughter read that out, so I suppose I ought to read a bit of it. Hi, I'm party time Cindy. I love celebrating with my friends and family and love to dress up decorate and give gifts There's obviously a little bit more than that so that's a little bit about the crafting and how you can make them the items up oh, there you go there's a little bit there i will put a proper link though below where cindyplay.co.uk a little bit of coloring design challenges we have some quizzes which we always have in a little bit about hair care which is quite nice it does go through how you gently do a hair and the outfits there and a little bit about the other girls I know I mentioned it last one, but I really want this one. <laughs> Music Star is one of my favourites there. But then I've got to have Toy Vlogger because that's sort of what I do. I'm like, I'll, I'll make any excuse, it won't I? I just need them all. It's as simple as that. Because then, of course, I like flower magic. And that would be a complete set. I love the colour of her hair and everything. And that's a little, little picture. You can't, probably can't see at this point. But you can get an idea on the size of the doll's house. It is quite big. And it is solid. It's not one of these cardboardy, rubbishy ones you can get. It is actually, um, I don't know what sort of wood it is. But it is it's like a wooden wooden item it says there it's three foot eight that's quite big i mean i have seen it in the flesh but i didn't register that, that yeah that's pretty big so it is lovely so that's that that's our little book love these little books i keep all mine and again if you've got sort of dioramas and that it's great for the dolls to have so let's get back to her we have a little bit of elastic holding her hair in only that one now the hair is lovely i mean just you can see the colors look at the shine on that you can see the shine on there as well it's really really lovely they have a really good head of hair i don't know whether you can see from there the heads are obviously painted the color of the hair especially when they've got this sort of hair color it's the only way to do it isn't it but there's plenty of hair there i won't be taking her hair out of her hairstyle i do leave them in it's very unusual for me to take the dolls out of the outfits or change their hair i do occasionally if i need to photograph something i've made on a newer doll but on average i leave them alone now the actual face up this is something i didn't mention apparently that like the eyeliner uh, etc is a little bit thicker this time so a little bit more definition to those eyes now we do have some movement with the head side to side of course uh not really much tiny bit forward and back but yeah so it goes back a little bit sometimes when you're doing photos you need that little little bit back because otherwise the dolls always look like the heads are facing downwards as i mentioned before we've got great articulation in the arms we have wrists shoulders elbows full works on that they don't have oh they i was gonna say they don't have that's because i was doing one of the other dolls uh they do have just a twist on the waist so again if you want to sort of position them or things like that that's great and they do have quite a nice bend on this knee they have a sideways movement for the leg as well as obviously forward and back and the ankles also have some articulation i'm always nervous about ankles because i've had some broken on dolls but these are quite good i know there was a few issues with last seasons because some people were getting breaks on the knees and things i think perhaps they were just really unlucky because my granddaughter's quite heavy-handed with a toy she doesn't mean to be but she is and we did not have a single break um, the only thing is I did have one that had two of the same hands, but that was okay. I sort of went, well, that makes her special, so I'm not going to try and change it. But, you know, if there are issues like that, you can get them changed. You know, you take them back to the shop um, and they will sort it out for you. So there has been upgrades. Hopefully these joints and that are a lot more solid than they were. So fingers crossed on that one. So she has this gorgeous little party dress on, which has got a few layers. We have... Uh, this base layer here, which is like a satin with little tiny silver dots. And we have a couple of layers of net there. And the top is obviously made of the same as the skirt. We have our little Cindy label. I love these labels. I think they're really nice. And we have Velcro to take it off at the back. I mean, obviously, I don't really need... I will take it off, actually, because I need to try the other outfits on. But we'll not take it off just yet. We need a proper label in there so we know it is legit. So if you ever find these outfits elsewhere without a doll... That's what you need to be looking for. But yeah, she's absolutely lovely. Like I said, her hair is so soft. It is unbelievable. I didn't mention her shoes. Just look at those. Are they not cute? 
They're the cutest little ballet pumps. Look at those, even got a little bow on the front. I'd wear those. <laughs> no comment. Uh, and yes, it obviously, it's all sort of range. So we've got blue, turquoise, purple, all that sort of pretty sort of colours that are working really well together. Put your shoe back on, missus. So I'm going to pop it over there. I think I've sort of covered most of the things now. And let's get on to these outfits. These fashion collections are really nice. I mean, they can bring out more for me. They definitely can. Last season there was three. This season there is three. Um, but yeah, I love the idea of this because some people will only buy one doll and they only want one doll, but they might want the outfits. So it's always good to know. Let's have a look on the back. Let's, we have the set of the girls. We have the set of the outfits there. Again, not suitable for under three. Not really much else to say on there. Apart from that, that is Flower Fairy. And that's the one I couldn't remember, which is Rainbow Star. So she's got like a party dressy uppy outfit or maybe a ballet outfit. And she's also got an everyday outfit, which is always good. So let's see if we can get into these. We've got one of those little, little circle-y things again. Now, I won't be keeping the boxes for the clothes. So I'm not actually that bothered if I do damage them. Not that I can get in them anyway. So I'm just going to cheat. These scissors are way too big. Don't do it this way. It is dangerous. But I can't find my little ones still. So, you know, needs must. My throat is definitely getting croakier. So I've got to finish a crochet tutorial next. That's going to be fun. So here we have, we have this gorgeous little flowery, sort of like flower petaled ballet skirt. We do have a few tags in here. But if they didn't put the tags in, the clothes would fall down. <laughs> I, I sort of get that. Um, it's a pity there isn't a better way of doing it, though. Because, I mean, I know all the doll companies use these. It's just how it is. Um, but somebody needs to sort of invent perhaps a better way of doing it. So I'm just sticking those things to that label. So she's got this really cute skirt, which is really nice. Very similar to the ballet one. But apart from the fact we have petal shapes in this, like, iridescent, iridescent, iridescent even, uh, purple so you can see the shine on it that is really really nice so that's gorgeous then we have a little leotard or if you wanted to it could be quite a really cute swimming costume but does it have the wings attached to it it might do she could still have it as a swimming costume yeah be careful when you do this the wings are really close yeah the wings are attached um so yeah it could be a little sort of ballet outfit a bit of fun fancy dress so again the wings are very similar to the sort of skirt area and you've got this sort of nice sort of little little dots that have got like a sort of shimmery effect to them that's really cute it's even got it's even got a little bit of lining in there so there's another little tag there there we go a little tag hey these are these are working out quite handy these sticky things because i'm popping the tags on there yep so that's well what more can i say about it how cute is it it, it just is cute so we're going to pop that and we'll just pop it there with you she has a really sweet little headband as well we can pop the headband on. i'm planning on trying the other outfit on really rather than that one but uh, we can pop the headband on i suppose yeah i think i will have some of these sticky things inside of me every time i open something because it's just a great way of getting rid of these tiny bits of plastic safely. So we have this really cute hairband. And this is actually stitched on detail. They are actually stitched on. And it's stitched at the back. So nothing's going to sort of come undone with that. And then we have what everybody loves. Little ballet shoes. Now these are, I think, pretty sure. Where is she? She's over here. I'm just going to grab the other ballet shoes. Now this is Dance Stars ballet shoes. And somebody asked me whether they're the same colour. Um, I would argue yes. I think there is maybe a tiny, weeny bit darker. Nothing, nothing sort of you know, very negligible if there is a colour difference. And um, let me move my little tags. So yeah, so we've got these ballet pumps, which are really sweet. I mean, I think everybody likes the idea of the little ballet shoes. They just split at the back there. So they're really easy to get on. I know I didn't have any problems at all with dance star. Dance star. I'm definitely going to need a drink in a minute. I can't even speak. Um, but they are really, really cute. And they're quite nice. And they're quite solid. Because I know sometimes you can get issues with splitting and things. But they feel they feel quite, quite sturdy. You know, you... you Pull them about a bit not that you should but i'm just showing you that they are quite sturdy so that is her first outfit which is absolutely adorable absolutely love it now the second outfit is more of a day wear perhaps so i'm gonna be naughty and get my scissors on it so i'm not gonna let you see this because you know i'm being very dangerous here i shouldn't do it there we are we're in 
box is roughly the same details, obviously, apart from it's same rainbow star on the front. That's the difference there. And here is the outfit. So I think cardboard to recycle. Love this. This is really nice. Jacket. It's a really nice outfit. Um, let's get in. One, two, and three. Oh no, and four. Can't count. Just shake those little bits out. That is so cute. Just look at it. It's a little polo neck sort of uh, vest top. For one, so it's not really a vest top, is it? If it's like that, you know why. That is lovely. I really do like that. We're going to pop that on her in a second. So you are going to have that one on, this is. She's also got a really cool... There's a lot of sort of the iridescent sort of uh, metallic-y sort of lilacs and things. Be careful. The trousers and the top are together, so don't cut through the trouser leg. I say all this from experience because I've done things like that. Um, oh, we've got one that holds the sleeve together. So as I say again, you've got this metallic -y sort of feel. There's some, there's some silver ribbon down here. We have our big tag inside. I think that's really nice. That just sort of pulls around. It's not Velcroed or anything. It feels like it's good quality. You can hear it rattling. It's funny noise. So she has a jacket. A little bit too warm for a jacket at the moment, but she has one. So let's get these trousers, jeans, leggings, whatever you want to call them. Do think they could do with cutting down a little bit on all these tags but never mind they're gorgeous they're a lilac towards a denim or towards a light denim color but they are more of a lilac and then the little stars are definitely sort of a lilac so it's all again all theming around the same colors which is lovely and the shoes again now someone asked me about these because there's trainers with dance star are white so somebody did say well are there going to be a different color in the other one and i'm glad to say Yes. I'm just going to close tags. Yes, quite a few tags there. I'll move them out of the way. So, yes, we have little lilac ones. Now, Madame Star's over here. She has got the others on. So, she has the white, as you can see here. And these are the lilac. Aren't they cute? I love the trainers because they're great for standing the dolls. I know they don't really sort of stand, stand on their own. But sometimes, if you want to take photos and they're up against something or something like that the trainer type shoes are great to hold them in place so i think maybe dan star is going to end up with this outfit it sort of feels more her sort of look and let's go to pop this one on our new girl here it's party time she's preparing although she could easily party in that i don't know about anything else take her shoes off absolutely love those and let's see how these slide on. A little bit of Velcro for the trousers. That makes it a little bit easier to put on. I know sometimes with the dolls, you're sort of shimmying them up. I mean, I know some of the things I have to make. If I don't put fastenings on, um, you do have to sort of wriggle them up. So they're a nice fit. They've got a good fit there. Let's pop your arms forward, Mrs. Because we're now going to put this top on. I love this top. 100% love this top. In you go. Oh, it's actually sort of more of a little crop top on her. Not really cropped, but it's shorter. That's so cute. That is really, really cute. Let's pop your trainers on. Have we got a right and a left? You can actually see there is. Yes, not, there's a slight difference there. So I'm useless with my right and left. So let's hope I've got them on the right ones. I have, I know I have. There you go. They slip on nicely. They're not too tight. They fit comfortably. And they look great with those trousers, don't they? Do you want to put your jacket on? It's a little bit warm, I know. Everybody wants to see what it looks like. When I take the photos outside, I think I might have a hold in the jacket because, as I say, it is rather warm again here. Um, not a fond person of hot weather. It doesn't agree with me at all. So there's the little jacket. I'd have to tuck the label behind. I don't know. Sometimes, I'm, I know I mentioned before, I do have a tendency to cut labels off because I feel they're in the way. But there again, <clears throat> excuse me, if I had to go and buy, say if I went to a car boot or a charity shop and I found the outfits, it's nice to see they've got labels because, although this one doesn't have a label, says me, um, we have a label inside there. Though. It's nice to see that the labels are there because then you know it's a genuine Cindy product. 
so it's um i don't know it's up to you that whether you do that of course so yeah she does have the little jacket i want to see the little top though because that's my favorite and i think that outfit is absolutely adorable we're definitely gonna get some photos outside in this one and i think i'll pop dance star in this so they can both have a little fashion shoot outside in the sun so all in all that is our party girl there party time and she's gorgeous I didn't expect anything different. Let me turn your hand around there, missus. So, as I say, I'm going to get the girls dressed up and we're going to do some photos, which I will add on the end. I'm trying to think desperately now. Off the top of my head, have I forgotten everything, anything? I don't think so this time. Hope you enjoyed watching that. I enjoyed dressing her up. I, I, I absolutely love that outfit. Um, <laughs> and I think we all need to be saving some pennies if we're planning on getting them. And keep an eye out for Argos. And I'll pop those links in, as I promised, so you can have a look and you'll get updates uh, when things are coming. But it, if it's anything like last year, if you didn't do this last year, if you didn't buy them last year and you've not experienced it, it on the on all the sort of uh, pages and things it, it was insane people sort of going oh i've got it or oh, i haven't got it and all these sort of thing there was sort of like a mad rush but there was dolls left at the end of it so don't over panic uh i am going to try and get mine as soon as because i must admit i was one that rushed out on the day to get them then found out they only had half of them in and then rushed out the second day to get the other half okay so you know what it's like. So thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned before, if you enjoy my videos, please like, subscribe and share. As I get my other dolls, I will do the other reviews. If you want to sort of have a look at them before you consider buying them. I know I do that when I buy certain things. Uh, if it's something I'm not so familiar with, I will go and have a look at somebody else's video to see whether it's worth getting. It's always worth checking things out before you go and spend. So I'm off. I'm going to take some pictures. I'll see you all very soon. And I'm really, really pleased with these. So thanks again. Once again, thank you so much. Cindy Play, Kid Creations. They're brilliant. I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye for now.